Hello, hello, welcome back to Cars of Glasgow. I'm Thomas and today you join me in the all new Toyota Prius plug-in hybrid. A special thanks to Helmsburg Toyota for loaning me this vehicle. And in today's video, it's going to be a first look, first drive of this new Prius. Uh, I will get a full review out to you at a later date, but for today, I want to show you what the car is like. Up front, the interior, some of the Easter eggs within the car, and just kind of give you a general overview of what the new Prius can offer. So this is the front of the new Prius. As we can see, we've got a nice stylish front end and I like the fact that things like your radar cruising mats all hidden into the grill you know it's not a big obvious thing and Toyota have really done well with the design of this car where it looks 10 times better in my eye versus the outgoing model and I'm hoping it attracts more people back to the Prius because I think this car deserves it Toyota have done a knockout job with the style I like the fact that you know it's just this particular red one's popping against the grey gray background but my probably my favourite design element is the side. As we can see here, there's no rear door handle visible, obvious, but there is this little button here, and that unlocks the car. Now I'm going to go into the back and just show you. So this one does have an automatic tailgate, pops up. This is the plug-in hybrid variant, so bear that in mind. I do have a whole load of stuff in here, such as camping chairs, my umbrella, and the charging cables. But this gives you an idea of how spacious the boot is. So down here is like kind of accessories for the car. Underneath is like a little bit of foamy stuff, which so not too much room, but there is like a little ducat cubby bit in here. As you can see, there's tether for Chelsea anchors. There's little silver anchors in here. And there's a little hybrid reborn here. So another little Easter egg on the back. So go ahead, close the boot. We can push this little button here on the tailgate. That's going to close down. And on the rear of the Prius, you're going to notice the Toyota badge is kind of like this flushed in badge, but we do have the Prius script on the exterior, PHV for plug-in hybrids, and we've got the cameras and things all down here with a little scooter to clean the camera, which is quite a clever feat. Do you know what? I like the design of it, and I think like, this angle here just kind of reminds me of like, the Dodge Charger or something like that. We don't get that here in the UK, but just the light profile. I'm not sure, but it definitely doesn't look Prius, which could be good or bad, but I think it looks really great. Now there are other little Easter eggs in this car, so it does say Prius on the back of the car, which is a little bit hard to see, but down here, if it wasn't raining so heavy, we can see it says Prius down here, which you may not notice, but it's there. And we also have a little Prius symbol up on top. Right in the centre here is a little Prius car. And even on the kind of trim for the window on the driver's side it says Prius up here as well. Okay so we're behind the wheel of the new Prius just going over some speed bumps we're going to say hi to James hi James and now we are going to see what it's like in the road in the real world. Now this is a very stormy day in Scotland I am in Helensburg and you wouldn't believe it's August but yeah it's the summer here has been awful but Without further ado, let's crack on with what we're going to be experiencing today. So if you do hear horrible wind noise, rain, battering off it, it's because it's a really stormy day today. Um, and not probably the best day for filming, but you make do when you're given the opportunity to drive a new Prius. So, this is the plug-in hybrid variant, and I can say straight off the bat, comparison to other like non-plug-in Toyota products I've driven, it does feel more nippy and get up and go. You know, years ago, my dad had a 2019 Lexus CT200H, which is a 1.8 litre Atkinson cycle four cylinder hybrid. I think that had like 130 odd horsepower from memory, but that was basically a Prius with a Lexus hatchback body. Don't get me wrong, it was a lovely car, but it was very slow, very economical, but very slow and stiff. This car feels nothing like that. You know, this is absorbing the lumps and bumps with ease in comparison to the CT. Put the foot down a little bit and it just gives you the, that acceleration. It's so smooth and I know you get that benefit from the plug-in hybrid. And you know, Toyota have been making the hybrid for over 20 years since the Mark 1 Prius. It started off as a little kind of like stubby saloon and then the Mark 2 came out like 2003, 2004 with the hatchback that we kind of know and love with that kind of slopey style and it kind of stuck with that changing it ever so slightly over the generations and now this one still has that Prius kind of profile but just looks dead sexy and good looking 
Now, visibility up front, it does have the same Prius kind of sloping off the end just for aerodynamics. And that kind of reminded me of what you've seen in the Tesla Model 3, but the Model 3 had these little blips, so you could kind of place the car on the where the width of it is without having the like sensors are worrying about it. Like this one's a lot more smooth at the front. Not saying it's a bad thing, just it's something I've noticed. But you know, turning doing it's pretty okay around town. You know, it's a, this is a great car for people that are not car enthusiasts, you know, and it's always been that case. And I say the same thing about the Model 3, you know, if you want an electric car that's like, you know, great for the family, great space, go buy the Model 3 because that's what it's great for. And there's actually a black Model 3 there, um, as I say that. And this is going to be for people that don't want an EV, you know, you maybe buy the plug-in because you want some EV range, but still want to have the petrol. So you can go like through the Scottish Highlands and not have to worry about finding a charger. The non-plug-in version of the Prius has always been great and popular because you get that good blend of fuel economy and electric driving at times throughout town. Now this, I've been driving a mix today on electric and kind of hybrid modes, just letting it do its thing automatically. Um, and it is seamless, you know, I do think it's doing pretty well there. So visibility all around is great, the camera's great, as I do like the little kind of washer it's got there, and the little Easter eggs in this car, and it's going to be fun to entertain and show kids and your family, etc. And infotainment's easy to use, and so is all the like, tactile buttons, you know, the car's got these buttons here that you just, you can, you know, you're going to remember where they are and physically have to push, which, you know, again, if you don't want a car where you have to dig through screens and things like that to get heated seats on, you can physically touch the button for heated and cool seats. So that's going to be a good plus there. Now, apologies, I can hear the wind coming through the phone there, uh, or through the glass there, so I can only imagine <laughs> what's coming through in the microphone, but you can hardly even see a fruit of green up today. And we're getting, there we go, cross traffic alert. That actually, the image shown actually looked like a Toyota Corolla Cross, which we don't get currently in the UK, but that's kind of what came up there. I never knew it had front cross traffic alert, I knew it had rear, so there's a little something I've learned today in the first drive. Give this one last, up to 40, there we go. Do you know, it's pretty confident, Do you know, I'm, I'm enjoying myself, it's a good car. So, my final thoughts on the Prius plug-in. So it's great if you're looking for, you know, a compact exterior-wise dimension small hatchback I guess but meanwhile it's offering big space inside which is what the original Prius offered and we're getting the fuel economy benefits you know this one is a nicely spec one with the kind of leather seats cooled seats we've got the blind spot automatic boot things like that so it's got a lot of toys in it your Easter eggs it feels well built and solid and you know I can imagine going based on other Prius history, you would like to think this is going to get to like 200,000 miles without too much of a problem. Now, thank you so much for watching this video on the Toyota Prius. Thank you again to the Helmsburg Toyota for loaning me this vehicle, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao. So go ahead and lock the car. Like so.